Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how I made these miniature musical instruments. But first I want to say a big thank you to my very first supporter on Patreon. I really appreciate it and your support helps me out so much. Now let's start by making the drum set. I'm using paperboard rolls in different sizes to make the drums. This one is from Packing Tape and as you can see I'm applying hot glue to the edge so I can attach it to paperboard and then cut it out and repeat on the other side. As mentioned before, you'll need different sizes. I use kitchen rolls as well as cling film. Now I'm applying a layer of clear varnish and black and white paint. For the next step, you'll need mirror foil or silver paper. If you don't have any of these, you can also use silver paint, permanent marker or nail varnish. Cut out thin strips and glue them to the drums. I'm also adding four of them vertically for more structure and now apply a small amount of hot glue to the tip of a toothpick to create a tiny ball. Make sure it's fully dried before painting the toothpick silver and the tip black. As you can see I'm using permanent marker to do that but then decided to add a little bit of nail varnish because it wasn't shiny enough for me. Now poke four holes into the drum, two on each side and place the toothpicks inside to make little legs. And for the next step, you'll need another toothpick and a straw. Poke a hole into the straw and insert the toothpick, paint it and glue it on top of the drum. If you want, you can use hot glue to seal the opening of the straw. And just so you know, this structure is supposed to hold the high tom and medium tom, which are the drums placed on top of the bass drum. Now cut four toothpicks in half, add hot glue and paint it to make legs for the floor drum. The steps to make the rest of the drum set are very similar and I'm using the same materials. Now I'm preparing the legs for the snare drum. Apply a pea-sized drop of hot glue to a non-sticky surface like baking paper or in my case I'm using a metal ruler. And add three toothpicks which you have to cut in half before. Let it dry, add a tiny bit of hot glue on each toothpick, paint it and glue it to the snare drum. Repeat the same steps from before but this time cut off any excess so that you can fit the toothpicks inside a straw. Add hot glue to the other end of the straw, insert a small wooden craft stick slightly tilted and paint it silver. Now prepare a paper circle, make a cut all the way to the center, use a glue stick to make a flat cone, paint it gold and place it on the tip of the toothpick. And for the last step, cut up a toothpick or any other wooden craft stick that you can find to make drumsticks and that's it. Now let's get started on the guitars. Draw the guitar neck on a popsicle stick with a pencil and then carefully cut it out. 
make sure to take your time when you do that. I prefer making several small cuts instead of a single deep one because it gives me room for improvements and I avoid having to start over all the time and wasting popsicle sticks. Feel free to use a file if the edges aren't smooth enough. Now I'm cutting a toothpick into tiny pieces and use wood glue to attach them to the guitar head. For this step you need a little bit of patience and ideally some tweezers so that you can place the tuning keys precisely. Use silver permanent marker to draw the frets and a black one to draw little dots and the tuning keys are supposed to be silver as well. If you want to seal everything you can apply a thin layer of clear varnish on top. Now I'm drawing the shape of the guitar body on a piece of paperboard and because it's quite thin I'm adding two more layers. For the other guitar I use a different technique to make the body. I will show you how to make it right after I finish this one. I'm using a regular glue stick to attach everything. Make sure to let it dry properly before cutting along the edges. And it's much easier to get into the corners with sharp small silhouette scissors. And here you can see me applying clear varnish, painting the body black and drawing a white pick guard on top. I find it easier to outline the shape with a permanent marker first before using nail varnish to fill it in. If you accidentally draw outside the lines you can always correct it with black marker or black nail varnish and to give it a really shiny finish I am adding clear varnish on top. Cut out two small pieces of paperboard, make sure the edges are round and paint them black or in the color of your choice. Now glue them to the guitar body along with the guitar neck that you prepared earlier and use black and silver permanent marker to draw volume and tone controls. Feel free to add more details if you want the result to be more accurate. I know technically there should be an input jack, strap buttons and probably much more, but for me that's close enough. Now I'm using thread and hot glue to make strings and the bridge. Apply hot glue on baking paper or another surface that's not sticky and carefully but swiftly add the strings before the glue dries up. This is supposed to be the bass guitar which is why it only has four strings. Now cut off any excess, paint the bridge and attach it to the guitar body. I'm applying another layer of clear varnish to make sure everything is secure and doesn't come off. All that's left to do is glue the strings to the guitar head. I'm using super glue to do that and I'm adding a tiny piece of paperboard on top of each string to complete the tuning keys, which of course I'm also painting silver. Don't forget to cut off any excess and add a thin layer of clear varnish to secure everything in place. And that's it for the bass guitar, but since I wanted to make a regular electric guitar as well, I made a second one with six strings instead of four. It's very similar to the other one, the only difference is, is that I used hot glue to make the guitar body instead of layering paperboard and I also decided to paint the neck. 